Good afternoon, everyone. First, I'd like to say thank you to the family for affording me this opportunity, and I'm going to explain why. Reverend Lieutenant Benjamin Miller, and I'm going to stick with the lieutenant because I'm a law enforcement officer. In high school, I paid a lot of attention to Lieutenant Miller. I don't think that he knew how much attention this young man was paying attention at the time, but he would come out to school in his patrol car and he would park. Sometimes in front of the gym, but he would always be engaged and be nice. Well, there's other, another area that I interacted with Lieutenant Miller. I had a job when I was in high school working at the Piggly Wiggly. So he would come out and he would park in front of the Piggly Wiggly. He would sit there with his window down. He would get out of the car. But he was always neatly dressed in uniform. He would always be talking to people. He would also go over to the time was a little busy in the Mexico area, so he would also go over there as well, be sitting there. But he was always engaged in his community, always very nice. So, as life went on for myself, I got into law enforcement. And uh, you know, when you first come out of the basic, you're very energetic. You got a lot of energy, you want to do a lot of things, and you're going to change the world. Well, I would say this to you. My first method of going about changing the world, you know those things that we all hate, those blue tickets. I was very good at that. But then I thought about some things that were successful that I had watched from a man that did not know a young man was watching him. And that was Lieutenant Miller. And that was to engage your community that was to talk to people, that was to not be afraid to talk about anything that people want to talk about, and that it wasn't about blue tickets, it wasn't about arresting people, it was about being a community-oriented person. From that, I learned to speak at a lot of events that I engaged people as a trooper, and even now as a sheriff, about a man that I learned that from. And sometimes I often speak of who I learned it from. You know, I participated in an event in the Charleston Shipyard Riots, and one of the things that were most successful it wasn't jabbing with the sticks. It wasn't being confrontational. It was being peaceful and talking. So I suggest that you know one thing I've learned, and I think anyone in law enforcement can attest to, Lieutenant Miller, who I grew up watching as a young man, taught me the success principles of law enforcement that work today. It's not the retaliation, but it's about how you engage your community. So again, family, I really appreciate you for allowing me to be able to speak about Lieutenant Miller, who I think was an awesome police officer. And to be able to say a few words for someone that he probably knew that was not watching him. But he would also say to me, and I'll close, as a trooper, he would say, take your time. You don't have to be in a rush. Because by the time you get there, they'll be tired and it won't be so hard to be here. <laughs> Again, thank you. Elder McLam, Reverend Montgomery, Reverend Wilson, and other ministers of the roster, family and friends. On behalf of Old Mount Zion, AME Zion Church, it gives me great pleasure to make remarks for our emeritus pastor, Reverend Benjamin Miller. Reverend Miller, was a charter member of Old Mount Zion. In fact, he often talked about how he staked out the grounds for the church building. And of course, his name is on the cornerstone. As a lay person, Reverend Miller served on many boards and auxiliaries in the church. He was chairman of the trustee, steward board, he was a class leader and a member of the senior choir. Reverend Miller loved praising the Lord, and his passion for God and people led him to answer his call to become a minister. And indeed, he was one of the most faithful and dedicated pastors in the Columbia County District. Reverend Miller, had a powerful yet wise message for us every Sunday morning. And at this time, I'm going to take you to Old Mount Zion's Sunday mornings. When he mounted the pulpit, he would say, I'm going to be like a helicopter. I'm going to take you up and I'm going to bring you back down. And often, he would remind us that there was no big news, no big eyes in 
good use in old mom's eye. We were all somehow in the eyesight of God. He told us to take six months to mind our own business and the other six to leave other people's business alone and the whole year would be gone. Um, and he warned us that every tub must sit on its own body. In the climax of his sermon, he would say, and I quote, I better leave it alone. <laughs> and in closing his sermon, he always had a testimony. He testified that Jesus is Mary's little baby, the lily of the valley, right. the bright and morning star, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and finally, he extended an invitation to all visitors, letting them know that old Mount Zion doors were hung on welcome angels. Reverend Miller, an awesome man of God, and he preached the gospel boldly. Well done, Reverend Miller. Your church will miss you, but go home and get your just reward. Amen. So easy for me to explain. How did I make it through the rain? How did I make it through the storm? You wanna know how I got here? It's so easy for me to explain. It was God's place.
Good evening. Good evening. And I thank God for the opportunity just to be here with the Miller family. My name is uh, Deacon Thad Miller from Charleston, South Carolina, where my pastor is the Reverend Clifford G. Brown at New Home Street Baptist Church. And I got the call about, uh, and I'm going to call him, Son Miller, because that's what we call him. Mr. Son Miller. And I lived on Sand Hill until I was about 18 years old. And I'm going to take y'all back because we lived on the farm where we had mule, we had plows, we plant cotton, corn, tobacco, everything. Where people could leave their houses open and the windows open. Nobody would go in. That was a blessing then. Yeah. Nowadays, we have to have a long system. Uh, in our church, we have to call the police to stand outside because so many things are going on in the world today. Uh, Mr. Son Miller, when he 
I invited them to come to Charleston, and he came and he sang a couple of times. And this, he said, I want y'all to do one thing for me. He said, now, did we sing good? And everybody said, yes. And he said, I want you to give them a hand. Clap. And I want y'all to do the same thing today. He said, I want y'all to give them one. He said, do it over again. He said, I want you to give them one. <laughs> Amen. That was, that was Mr. Son Miller. And, you know, I grew up with his son, the late uh, Funny. We call him Funny. Irene and Liddell. And everybody lived together as one. That was great. It still could be great. Because every parent had the opportunity of cutting your behind. <laughs> that don't happen nowadays. You put your hand on somebody's jaw now, you may go to jail. So we as parent now have to come together, has to live together. When we go to church, when we are in the street, we always got to pray ye for one another. Because God is one God. And he protects all of us. And we just thank God for life, health, and strength. And I was asked to do one thing. Your grace and mercy brought me I'm living this moment because of you. Come on, y'all.
Be not dismayed when men don't believe you. He understands. He'll say, well done. Misunderstood, the Savior of sinners hung on the cross. He was God's only son. Oh, hear him call his Father in heaven. Not my will, but thine be done. If, when this life of labor is ended, and the reward of the race you have run, oh, the sweet rest prepared for the faithful will be his blessed and final well done. But if you try and fail in your triumph, hands sore and scarred from the work you have begun, take up your cross, run quickly to meet him, He'll understand. He'll say, well done. Oh, when I come to the end of my journey, weary of life and the battle is won, carrying the staff and cross of redemption, he'll understand and say, well done. Be it known that on Tuesday, July the 17th, in the year of our Lord, 2018, the Columbia Camden District of the Palmetto Annual Conference South Atlantic Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. The family of Old Mount Zion African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church and the Reverend Dr. Alvin McLam, presiding elder of the Columbia Camden District, were saddened when the word circulated that the Reverend Benjamin Miller Sr. heard and responded to the call of the Master to come to a new home over in Zion. Whereas he was educated in the public schools of Williamsburg County, South Carolina. Whereas he served as Lieutenant in the United States Navy and was a World War II veteran, traveling to many countries during his military service. Later he served as a Lieutenant in the King's Tree Police Department and was awarded the key to the city in 1992 for his great service. Whereas he received his calling into ministry and studied theology at Morris College in Sumter, South Carolina and Clinton College in Rock Hill, South Carolina. He was a dame and elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Whereas his pastorates included Clinton Chapel, AME Zion Church, Sumter, South Carolina. Mount Nebo and Fairview AME Zion Churches in Great Falls, South Carolina, and ultimately pastoring and retiring from Old Mount Zion AME Zion Church in King Street, South Carolina. Be it resolved that the members of the Columbia Camden District of Palmetto Conference of the South Atlantic Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church vow in humble submission to the will of Almighty God. Be it further resolved that the members of the Columbia Canyon District of the Palmetto Conference of the South Atlantic Episcopal District will have a place in our hearts to remember the man who displayed love and a gentle spirit. Be it further resolved to his daughters, Ludella Nelson of Tennant, New Jersey, and Irene Brown of Camden, South Carolina, daughter-in-law Emma H. Miller of King Street, South Carolina, aunt Thelma Woods of Manning, South Carolina, 11 grandchildren, 24 great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, many other loving relatives and caring friends. Be not dismayed. God will take care of you. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution will be presented to the family of the Reverend Benjamin Miller Sr., and a copy will be placed in the archive of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Well done, servant of God. Well done. Humbly submitted, the Bishop Mildred B. Hines, presiding prelate of the South Atlantic Episcopal District, the Reverend Dr. Alvin McLam, presiding elder of the Columbia Camden District. Amen. At this time, we will have a selection from the McClary Singers, followed by acknowledgments from Henry Hand Funeral Home and a memorial tribute for Reverend Lieutenant Benjamin 
Oh,